so we have the Iceman Bruno Muratora against the machine Oliver Ortman. Both of them, of course, multiple champions in their own, multiple national champions in their own country. 23 times Italy champion Bruno Muratora and four over 40 titles for Oliver Ortman in Germany. Additionally to that, of course, Oliver Ortman world famous for all his world title he got also which includes also world championship 1995 in nine ball and in straight pool 2007 as well as two US Open times champion in straight pool 1993 and 1989 so let's have a look at the first break from Oliver he won the lag and therefore he got a first break now and we are in the winners round three so this is the third round on the winner side of this tournament and let's see five ball is on the corner how Oliver is doing on a break he get the corner ball he get a three ball as well he get a two ball as well enough balls crossing the line anyway and only six balls left on the table I guess that's a pretty nice start from the machine and even with the first shot he actually showed why you have to call him the machine and now he has a not a straight in two ball he has a little angle on the two ball and he need to draw it back a little bit to get a nice shot on the four ball he need a certain angle also on the four ball to come down again back to the six ball so surely not an easy start but still I guess for Oliver he's still in his comfort zone with this kind of start here wow he he didn't draw it, he didn't draw it, he was using a follow shot going two rail position for the four ball and running he was running with the cue ball into the seven but fortunate enough that he didn't get snookered himself didn't didn't snook at himself behind the seven. So he, he got a shot at the four ball. What is he looking at? He won't look at the combination, won't he? I mean, it's hard to get a position for the six ball. He was looking if the cue ball, uh, if he uses the tangent line to the short rail, fo foot rail, if he got the room for it, but he has not. Therefore, he has to pull out a real hard draw shot, which he did, but it still wasn't enough to get a decent position on the six ball. So. Now he got the six ball sitting there. I guess there's only a bank shot, a long bank shot or a safety there on here. Probably he will go for the safety, keeping the six ball in front of the eight and putting the cue ball behind the seven and the eight. Very nice done. Very nice done from Oliver here. So now it's a Bruno first attempt on the table and he has to go probably for one or maybe a two rail kick shot here on the six ball. He even got uh, one, two, three possibilities to try it, but of course, either way he chooses, there won't be a high percentage possibility to receive a resave. There's also not a high percentage to get the kick on the six ball into the pocket and even if he hit it that accurate the next position on the seven would be also very tough so it looks like he will go for two rails long rail short rail hit it on a six he was a good hit very good hit actually because he was setting the six ball along the right long rail um, let the six ball running into the seven ball and therefore the six ball stays almost frozen to the right long rail 
And the cue ball went to the upper side rail. Upper side rail. And therefore it's a pretty hard shot. I don't know if the bank shot is on here, if the six ball has enough space. If there's enough space between the rail and the six ball to get an to get a high percentage bank shot here. And even if he if the bank shot is on, he's still it's still hard to um, to keep the cue ball in position here. Maybe to let it let the cue ball roll into the A to keep position. Or of course a safety. I guess he's playing for a safety, hitting the, the six ball on its left side. Forcing forcing the cue ball running into the six and he was actually trying to get a six ball closer to the head cushion and probably the cue ball closer to the foot rail and now there's a very long and tough cut shot on a six ball for Bruno but it's a shot it's a possibility or a safety maybe if he goes for a safety no, no he won't go. He tried to attempt a long cut shot, missed it. <coughs> he was missing it too thin and this delivers another. This was is giving Oliver another hard shot on a six ball. He's looking at it, so therefore he will try to make the six ball. Trying to get position over two rails for the seven ball into the same pocket where he tried to make the six now. Very good shot. Very good shot. And here he got the position. Here he got the position. Not an easy shot, of course. That's still a difficult shot if a, if the object ball is that close to the rail and he and the object ball still has to pass the edges of the side pocket there's always a little bit worrying in the shot about those edges from the side pocket you have to completely get this out of your mind and just go, just aim for the pocket you got oh, he missed that he missed that He missed that ball and he left. Not only that he missed, he left, unfortunately, a very, very, I wouldn't say very easy. <laughs> I, would, I would prefer to say a pretty common position for Bruno Moratoro, who will surely take care of this situation. He actually created a pretty nice position on the eight. But because this nine ball is sitting in the middle of the foot cushion, he uh, has to decide if he will make a force stun to this or, or just look at that. Look at that. Wow, this was close. He Bruno almost draw the cue ball into the left side foot corner pocket. was executing that's pretty good. He got the corner ball. Six ball crosses the line. Does the four ball cross the line? Does it cross the line? This is necessary, otherwise it would be a would be a dry break. <coughs> They're discussing. It's probably right on the line. Oh here we can see it from the from the head camera. It's it's hard to judge and therefore if there's any doubt in favor to the player who is on the table. But there's anyway nothing nothing there on the table. Um, so there's the eight ball and the three ball right between the one and the cue ball. And therefore um, he will go for push out shot. Push out, he's calling the push out, he's moving the eight ball probably a little bit out of the way, but making sure that the part, at least the part of the one ball, is still in the way and therefore he offers a jump shot. Normally Oliver will give it away, will, will give it back to Bruno. I mean you can only accept a, a jump shot if the object ball is much closer to the pocket, in my opinion. 
And therefore I guess the decision was right to give it back to Bruno and see what he can do with this situation and if he will be able to pull out this drum shot and pocket maybe the one and if he succeed to do so he can have also a very good chance to get a position on the two. Let's have a look. And oh he missed it. Successful on a jump, legal shot, but he missed the one ball. And here comes the one ball back again. And I'm not sure. I guess Oliver got a shot at the one. So the three ball is not completely in his way. He can still see at least the right side of the one ball. But will it be enough to pocket the one ball into the left side foot corner pocket? Very difficult shot. He's aiming at it. He's aiming at it. To get a position he would need to let the cue ball run maybe into the nine ball. And if he hits the nine ball on its right side, he will at least be close to the two ball. Or he goes, he passes the nine ball and the natural three railway gives him a nice position on the two. Very nice, very nice executed from the machine, Oliver Orton. With the two ball and that angle, just to make a draw shot, he uh, to make sure that he can get a position on the three ball. Either way, in the in the side pocket or the head corner pocket, he will probably try to draw it before the nine ball, like that. He was doing that even. Uh, a little bit too much accurate, so he he is coming too close to the three ball, and therefore the three ball is a little bit difficult to get it into the left side head corner pocket. Look at where he's aiming the the cue ball. It's like, yeah, that's a nice position for the four ball. Very nice. To get position on the six ball, he will pull out another draw. Very nice. And I guess it will be a low right side shot on the cue ball to get a two rail position, maybe three rails, on the seven ball. One, two, here's the third rail. The additional fourth rail gives him a pretty straight shot on the seven, which is not very comfortable <laughs> if you think about that uh, the eight ball is near near the head spot on the other end of the table. I guess he got a just a little angle to play a high left shot on the cue ball. No, he's going to draw it. Probably low right on the cue ball. And look at that. Nicely done from Oliver Ortman. Nicely done. That's a very good position if you consider where where he was coming from. Here you can just use natural roll on the cue ball to get a decent position on the nine. And this is even almost perfect. And this nine ball will tighten up the score at 1-1. One, one. And let's have a look at his break. Six ball is the corner ball. He got the corner ball, he got the one ball again. The four ball is crossing the headline and he got the two ball sitting right in front of the left side pocket. Cue ball is in upper side of it, and he just checked if the three ball will be 
passing can the three ball pass the seven ball to go into that right side head corner pocket uh, excuse me the right side foot corner pocket I cannot judge it from my position surely so you have to see what kind of position Oliver will pulling out here looks like a nice draw shot therefore he has jacked up the cue Ooh. this is surely not the way he wanted he was hitting the two ball a little bit to the right too much to the right and therefore the cue ball is not coming back, back straight and instead of it he almost hooked himself behind the nine ball but I guess he can still see <coughs> at least a part of the three ball will it be enough maybe to try the carom shot with the cue ball to carom with the cue ball from the three to the seven and make the seven in or will he just try to make a safety by hitting the three ball as full as possible and park the cue ball behind the seven If he got full access to the three ball, this safe would surely be on to park the cue ball behind the seven. And the offensive, the offensive po uh, possibility is the carom on the seven ball. <coughs> but if you carom on the seven ball, it's also where will the <coughs> excuse me, where will the three ball going to? Looks like he goes for the carom. Now he is going for another safety, a different safety. He was trying to get the cue ball even behind the four. The cue ball was running into the four ball and left Bruno um, a little bit of a side to the three ball therefore he will probably try to get the cue ball behind the seven and bring the three ball somewhere behind or between the five and the nine he was hitting it too easy too slow but both balls were on their way so it was the right execution just the speed wasn't enough and this gives Oliver the, an excellent possibility to play the three the cure will pass the five for a one or two rail position on the four ball here it is He got a little bit more angle than he liked to have, of course, but... Hmm... Probably has to pull out kind of a stun shot. He's looking at the tangent line. When he, he draw it a little, little, just a little bit away from the tangent line, he can pass between the gap between the 5 and the 9 and maybe get it back. Or he has to cross the tangent line a little bit to go like this between the rail and the five three rails around to get position on the five nicely done nicely done no, just the stun shot just the just get it there out of the rail for a fast class position on the 7 and with the 7 just a little draw shot coming out of the rail then no, he don't use the rail and get a nice position on the 9 ball and now it's Bruno on the break and he's 2-1 behind in this match the 8 is the corner ball He missed the corner ball, he missed the one ball, but kept at least the cue ball at the center of the table. So he was he was uh, hitting the one ball completely full 
and like other players tried it before. Like I remember uh, Nicolas Zatterman before he also trying from this position to hit a one ball uh, pretty full. When you try that, especially here and on this uh, uh, table, it's uh, uh, they missed barely, but they missed a corner ball and a one ball as well. So it should be more advisable to use the cut break here. But he will find out sooner or later. Anyway, it's a tough uh, layout. Of course, if if no other ball went in, you know, then uh, of course there's much more traffic on the table and therefore a much bigger chance to get uh, more trouble, more problems, anything. So I guess he doesn't have a direct shot between the gap of the 5 and the 7, does he? Oh, he got it. There's a gap, and therefore he can play probably a stop shot and play a safety. Does no, not a stop shot. He played a cross bank, <coughs> tried a cross bank, and he played it pretty slowly. So you cannot say if he was trying to get a safety with a cue ball, maybe behind a five or seven, and leave the one ball behind a two and a three, or if he really tried the attempt to make that cross bank. Anyway, now the one ball is in front of the pocket and therefore an easy victim for Bruno who played ooh, a position, pretty close position for the two ball. Can he see enough of the two ball to make it? And if he can, even if he can, the cue ball need at least, he need to at least play with a certain speed to make the two ball. And therefore the cue ball will travel at least uh, one meter, I would guess. And therefore this won't give him a first class position on the three, but maybe a decent. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. The cue ball didn't travel that much. So he got a first class position on the three ball. And some follow stun shot would give him a pretty nice position on the four ball. And with the four ball just stun it into the rail and out to get a nice position on the five. Five is almost straight in, got the perfect angle to come a little bit closer on the side where the six ball lies. L he can even go with a follow shot to bring the cue ball into the head rail and coming back to get a good position on the six. He could achieve the same thing of course also with the draw. So it's but that's always up to the player's individual choice. Nice shot on the six ball. Well, a little bit too much angle on the seven. I don't know if he can hold that to play the eight ball also in the right foot corner or if he just try to cross the center line to play the eight ball in the left side foot corner pocket. No, he tried to hold it and he has done it pretty good and now he can play the 8 ball where he played the 6 before to the right foot corner pocket. Let the cue ball follow a little bit into the foot rail, let it come up back out again but unfortunately he was running into the 9 on the outcome so not very accurate here but it could have been worse, could have been cl frozen to the 9 and straight uh, to the head cushion. Therefore it's almost, it's still an acceptable line to the right side head corner pocket. There it is. And therefore Bruno Morator. I guess the four ball is the corner ball, is it? No, the two ball was it. He missed the corner ball, he missed the one ball in the side, but he made it in the corner, in the left corner. And um, I guess he, he didn't get a cut.
cut break he was shooting completely at the one which makes it always difficult to get a corner ball so it's it could be quite happy to get a one and even that he has a shot on a two ball even though it's a very long a very long shot on a two ball very hard to get and he missed it he missed that shot but he's not afraid I mean he just goes to the table and go for the shot he sees I mean he's not worrying around too much he's that's that's one of his big strengths is his self-confidence he got a big self-confidence and here is Bruno Bruno Moratora not quite happy with his position on the three but I guess it's still very acceptable and the tangent line so if he plays like a sp like a stop shot will bring him in into a nice position of the four ball Ooh. He was running into the eight, but that's okay. He's still okay in the position to the four wall. Now he need to take the bridge and try to avoid too much angle on the five ball. Just draw it back a little bit. He cannot draw it too much with the bridge. Just maybe just draw it bit, uh, back a little bit or just at least a stop shot you can accept a long shot on the five you don't like it you just don't like it so he chalked up again and here's uh, another attempt oh he's going look at where is he aiming he's going for three rail position follow three rail but no no it didn't came out good. He cannot be satisfied with that position. That would be kind of a stop shot easier and would give him a much better position on the five. Now, he has a very hard cut into the left side head corner. With the, with the, and, the, and the cue ball will be pretty close going to the right head corner pocket. There's a little scratch. A danger of a scratch here. So maybe he also should try to consider to shoot a five into the right head corner pocket. He's looking at it. And then he plays it low enough. He can bring the cue ball, let the cue ball run into the seven to keep a position on the six. Yes, but he didn't draw it, he let it roll naturally and run into the seven ball. And still got a position on the six. Very nice shot from Bruno Mortor. Very nice shot. Need a high accuracy to execute that shot. And the five ball was dead center from this long position. So, and now he just had to play it low right the seven ball to get a nice position on the eight and just a stun shot a stop shot on the eight ball to achieve a position a straight in position to the nine ball and this gives him the opportunity to get the lead in this match so, Bruno Mortor is leading 3 to 2. Seven balls, a corner ball, he get a corner ball, he get also the one ball. Wow, two, four, and five balls crossing the line, the headline. And Bruno couldn't hold the cue ball in the center or near the center of the table. Instead, it's on the center of the, of the foot cushion. But I guess he can pass the eight ball and therefore has a shot on the two ball. And if he do that quite softly, quite tender I would say, he got also a position on the four. Well, this wasn't tender. 
but he was hitting rail first therefore he get the angle enough angle to come out let the cue ball traveling out of uh, the head rail to get a very nice position on the four ball five ball right beside it so easy to get a position on the five and to get a position on the six he just has to let it roll naturally and it will come back center near the center of the table to get a nice position on the six here try to hold the cue ball or stun it to the rail and let it come out again and with this little angle on the eight ball it's advisable to let the cue ball roll into the foot cushion and this time with a lot of side left side English he made sure not to run another time into the nine ball like he did before and therefore nice job nice job from Bruno Moratour for his attempt on the break let's see if he will still go for full break or cut wow it was a almost full break and the corner ball was going he was going to miss the corner ball on the left side of the co of the uh, corner from this pocket uh, but uh, with a little help from i don't know was it a three or the four ball with a little help of those one of those balls he still could get the corner ball so there's still a danger if you use the full break here that they won't go anything in so let's see will he go for a bank or a safety here I guess the bank is not on here he will try to get a cue ball behind the six was he successful oh. with the one ball sitting in front of the um, left side head corner pocket even though if the seven ball is a little bit in the way of the cue ball and the one Bruno will certainly c he can use the left side long rail to kick the one ball in but this will bring the cue ball let the cue ball run into the eight. Oh, did you saw that he did he has a full shot on the one ball I couldn't see that from my point of view and therefore he tried a draw shot to get a position on the three and it worked now three rail position for the four ball you use tangent line or go a little bit away from the tangent line then you can get a nice position on the five nicely done just a little natural roll with a little uh, left side English get a nice position on the six a little bit too far but still okay with some low right or only right if you like to he can get back into position the seven ball. It's a pretty long seven ball, but he liked that. To, to make it any shorter, he would have to play it low right. But the player of his former surely can take care of shots like that. So it shouldn't make much of a difference for him if he got if the shot is a little bit longer or not as long there is nothing extreme coming up extreme long shots or something like that but look at this position very perfect absolutely perfect timing from Bruno Moratoro who could extend his lead now and now he comes another break seven is on the corner corner ball was on its way but the four ball was going in instead helped also the seven ball to go on the opposite corner enough balls crossing the line he also get one ball wow and 
It is obviously hard to keep the cue ball in the center of table. This happens mostly if you get if you cannot get the cue ball higher on the second diamond or near the third diamond. Uh, when you hit it get it on the rail behind the second diamond, then it's hard to get the cue ball back in the center. And then then it ends up where it is now. But I guess he, he shoots now at a two ball and the two ball can maybe pass the nine ball. There was the possibility that he can pass, otherwise he wouldn't shoot at it, but he missed it. And the two ball was running into the nine. And this gives Oliver the possibility to shoot at the two ball either way into the same corner pocket Bruno attempted and let the cue ball run around the table three rails <laughs> with some blocking balls or he is looking at the shot into the center pocket the right side center pocket and if you do it pretty softly or with some draw he can hold the cue ball in position for the three ball nicely done Nicely done from Oliver, the machine. Now he's back on track with position on the three ball. Five remaining open balls on the table. So this job should be done from the machine, Oliver Ortman. Just a little bit natural roll on the three ball. And either way now a two rail position with right side, high right side or a draw shot into the right long rail. Now it goes with the follow two rail shot I mentioned before. Stop shot on the six. Or you can also let it roll. I mean nothing nothing big here. Several opportunities. Also here most common would be probably high left side English to go two rails. Yes that's it. Perfect position for the line. And therefore, Oliver Ortman can reduce Yeah, there it is. He was using the cut break. He was bringing the cue ball right to the second diamond. This gives the corner ball uh, no chance for the corner ball. And therefore, he made the corner ball enough balls crossing the line Additionally, the one ball uh, stayed in the foot half of the table. Probably he was hitting the corner of the side pocket. Otherwise, normally the one ball is in the head area of the table. But you never know. I with a with a break, strong as Ortman's break, <laughs> it also can be the case that <laughs> the one ball was traveling around the whole table, <laughs> getting into this position. So anyway, he got a wrong angle and therefore a hard time to come to the one ball. So he's also considering maybe a bank shot on the six. Hmm? Is he thinking about that? I mean, if he tried to play the one ball, then he... And, and when the he let the cue ball travel between the seven and the nine, he will have a very thin shot on the two ball into the same pocket. Huh. And when he uses a lot of inside English, in this case it's left side English, uh, he cannot, he cannot, uh, yeah, he cannot go through the gap between the two and the nine. Oh, look at that! He's playing. Uh, maybe, maybe the bank. Yeah, that's the bank. But he played it too hard. Too hard. And therefore the one ball knocked the six ball in but traveled back <laughs> on the upper side where the cue ball is and right between the one and the nine uh, right between the one and the cue ball is the nine therefore he has to pull out kind of a curve shot to get at least the legal shot on the one ball
Hmm. The one rail kick shot is blocked from the two ball, therefore he would need some extreme English to still to get it, and therefore he will go for the curve shot. Yes, good hit on the one ball. Pretty thin, thin enough that uh, it's still close to that cushion but Bruno has a shot at it he's not snookered but if he'd like to make the one ball there's only the bank shot available I don't know if the bank shot is available the one is pretty close so maybe he's worrying about the double kiss here but I guess I guess he can get the bank shot and if he can get the bank shot he can get the position as well He's playing high, so maybe he's not trying the bank, is he? No, he's trying directly for a safety. Bringing the one ball behind the three and keeping the nine ball uh, near at the two ball so that it is behind the nine. But it didn't work. And therefore, Oliver has a shot at the one, but no direct pocket available, and therefore he will probably pull out another safety or if he's in a mood for some aggressive play he can also try to make the long bank shot and even though he could play position two rails maybe with a little help of the five ball to come down again to the two ball but normally go for safety here and uh, the safety could be just to hit the one ball pretty thin and let it let it uh, catch by the five or bring the cue ball behind the four but that's difficult I guess or he tried it a different way which did then work hmm But not much left for Bruno either. I cannot see if the one ball can pass the four ball into the left side head corner pocket. I cannot see that. I guess there is a very thin cut shot on the wall into the side available. But this will bring the cue pull ball awfully close <laughs> to the right side head corner pocket. So, but he's looking, attempting uh, to make the one into the left side head corner pocket, so it probably can pass the four ball, if I see that right. Yes, yes. He got a shot with a little help of the four ball, but accurate enough. And he got a position on the two ball. Not enough angle to come easily down the table to the three ball. It's not easy, but still makeable. And he chooses to do it with a draw shot. So two rails, one, two rails. And here's an additional third rail to a pretty nice position on the three ball. It's just natural roll, he will get the position on the four. And with another soft shot, with natural roll on the four ball, he also get a five. And from the five, he can also use another natural roll to get a almost straight position to the seven ball. With some English, he can use an additional second rail. However, he likes it, and here he is almost straight in with a little stop shot to get another straight in shot to the 9. And with this 9, he can extend his lead another time from 5 3, now leading break from Bruno. He got a corner ball, he missed the 1, 5 ball crosses the line. Nine ball, cr uh, eight ball crosses the line, but but the cue ball is down in the head field, which 
it doesn't happen so many times before and the 8 ball is in its way between the cue ball and the 1 ball and therefore he need to pull out a jump shot but before he will do that by himself he will probably play some push out he's looking for some push out possibilities and he like to push it down there where he's standing it like to offer a long shot to Oliver but instead of <laughs> instead of pushing it he he likes to go right away for the jump shot so push out why push out that's for sissies let's go for the shot I like that I like that it's probably trying to jump it into the side pocket ooh he missed it he missed it and look at that he leaved it right in front of the left side foot corner pocket for Oliver an easy victim and with natural roll also Oliver can easily continue this game with the two ball so in this case Bruno should be uh, should better take into consideration to play a push but after a shot everybody knows it better so will he go with a natural roll or it looks like he played it l uh, will play it low maybe it's two rails out for position for the two or natural you never know it when when Oliver is playing because he's aiming always low on the cue wall so he was using the two rail version to get position on the two nicely done I guess he's almost straight in then he can probably hold it in this lane no he will probably ah, never know where he's aiming at okay one rail follow shot for the three ball with a three just let it follow into the left side long rail and let it come out again to get a position on the five nice angle on the five this angle will offer him either way to use the stun shot to play the six ball into the right side pocket or to let it follow to play it into the left side co uh, side pocket and that's what he is choosing pretty good position by playing the six ball in the side he might he might draw Oh, he might draw now the cue ball, but uh, because the eight is lying there in front, a little bit in the way, in the position way to the seven, he wanna make sure that he won't get hooked behind the eight. Therefore, he was drawing it a little bit more <laughs> to get this uh, little bit fortunate position also. But if you take in consideration, there's nothing not much left where the QL could hide to okay nice position on the 8 uh, almost natural roll or a little stun to get a position on the 9 ball here it is perfectly done and Oliver like to stay in this match of course he's not coming to lose here and therefore he shorten up the score from 6-3 now He got a corner ball. He missed the one. Enough balls crossing the line. Nice position on the one. So he can continue from there. I guess he can hold the cue ball into a decent position of the two ball. Or just let it go and play the two ball in the left side foot corner pocket. Or hold it to choose the right foot corner pocket. left foot corner pocket 
I guess with a draw shot he can still hold the cue ball or draw the cue ball back so that he still can play the three ball into the right hand, uh, right foot corner pocket. Yes, that's what he did. He's checking out if the five ball can pass the seven. He's also checking out if Pfeiffer can pass the six for the center pocket. For whatever reason. <laughs> oh, probably not 100% of the pocket available. You can see it from the head camera that only maybe 70% of the pocket is available. But at least the play position for it and therefore must be a space so that he can pocket it. It might only be a snooker hole which is left. Let's see if he can execute that. Of course he can. Who else can if not the machine can do that? Nice shot from Oliver Orkman. And now we have the six ball. Pretty good position, just a little stop or stun shot on the cue ball to get a position on the seven. And with natural roll he can play the eight ball in the side pocket in the left side. Perfect position and with another roll you can get the position on the wall. Nine ball. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> it was on its way and said another ball was going in and the cue ball as well. Unlucky. Unlucky a little bit. So some ball knocked the cue ball in. And with ball in hand, Oliver can make the one, play either way direct position or let the cue ball travel to the left long rail to a position for the two ball. If he's straight in or with a slightly angle on the two ball he can also go back to the three but he's considering here concerned about the four ball if the four ball can pass between the gap between the six and the eight into the corner pocket whoops you don't like to go from the two to the three <laughs> So he like to go maybe for the combination on the three, but no. Even if you don't like it, he has to travel twice the table length. One ball to the two ball. Two ball now, going back to the three. If it's straight, you can draw it back directly. If he got the angle, he can also force it with a stun into the right side cushion. But I guess he will draw it back directly. Very nice. Very nicely done. Another check if the four ball will pass the s between the six and the eight. Obviously, the four ball can pass because he didn't check any other line. He didn't check any other position, possible position, for example, play the four ball in the center or somewhere. 
So he's probably played position for the four ball in the left side foot corner pocket. Ooh, not satisfied with that position, but still makeable. But the angle forces him. Oh, forces him almost to play a position <laughs> on the five eight combination or what? You don't like that. Oops. You saw he was using so much inside English to come to the other side of the two ball. Of course with a little help of the eight ball, the four ball went in. And I guess he got a shot on the five ball. And he has probably he cannot get a shot on the five ball in the center and therefore he's aiming at the five ball in the left side head corner pocket. Just play it naturally, he also get a position to the six. That's it. R nicely done. Very good from Oliver Ortman. Nice position on the six ball. Just natural roll to get a position on the eight. And a little draw coming out of the cushion into the comfort zone of the nine ball. He got the corner ball. One ball was, uh, two balls were crossing the line. He's fine. One ball is perfectly front of the left side foot corner pocket. He has to check out if the two ball can pass an eight ball. Probably not, from my point of view. And therefore, he might need to play a position to play the two ball into the right head corner. Pocket. Hmm. He's checking out if the tool can pass or if he liked the combination maybe to play. But why not playing the position for the two in the in the head corner pocket? Now he's aiming low. That's what he tried to do, to play the position for the two ball in the right side head corner pocket. And now he got the position for the right side for the left side head corner pocket. If he can pass the six ball. I guess he can, he's aiming at. Then he just need to make a stop shot to get a nice position on the three ball. Very nice. So with three ball just natural natural let the cue ball roll naturally and uh, he will get an easy access to the four ball into the same pocket. And with that angle he can come on the right side of the five ball to play the five in the left side head corner pocket. Here it is, perfectly executed from Oliver Ordman, the machine. Little elevation of the cue. To keep the cue ball with a nice little angle to the six. And therefore, with some low ride, Nice position for the eight. And from there, low right with nice position to the nine. 
So, he took the opportunity and oh, he missed it barely, but he got a three ball instead also. And he got a nice position on the one ball. And with this position, you can play very soft to keep the position or just let the cue ball run a little bit into the head cushion and let it come out again for position on the two. Yes, here it comes out again, but he probably won't like that angle. He would like to have uh, have it a little bit less angle on the two balls. So he will have a hard time to pass the center line. He can still do it, but when he just barely pass the center line and uh, get the cue ball behind the a left center pocket then he will run into the six ball so he will uh, he will go for three rails follow shot one two three rail follow and run into the six uh, excuse me the five hmm at least he created another problem with the six and the seven and uh, he hooked himself the six and the nine now between the four and the cue ball will force him to play a follow, a uh, kick shot over the long rail and maybe also a two rail kick shot over the long and short rail. The left long rail. Oh, two rails two rails he had a better chance to uh, get a resave but the cue ball went out a little bit too much and therefore Oliver got a shot at the four ball but very hard to get a position on the five hmm I'm not sure if he can make the draw shot if, if the draw shot is possible to get the, the cue ball between the 5 and the 7 to play the 5 into the right side head corner pocket but it looks like he's aiming at the 4 ball in the center is he really? or is he looking for a position on the 5 to play a bank position on the 5? Looks like he's going for the draw, try to get a cue ball into the 5 or between the 5 and the 7. Ooh. Nice try, but he missed the 4. A little bit fortunate that uh, at least a part of the 6 is in the way from Bruno between the 4 and the cue ball. because of the excusement from Oliver he probably don't has a direct shot on the four and therefore he has to play rail first or a little jump because it's only a part of the six a little jump hmm, not sure about that when he plays rail first he got a, a good chance to get scratched in the opposite corner Hmm. And even when he played slow enough that it won't happen, then he has a very bad position on the five. So why not running uh, into the playing cushion first with low, low and some right side to bring the four ball over two rails down in the foot half of the table and keep the cue on the head half of the table. Oh, he's trying to make create a little jump. Ooh, look at that. 
<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> it's funny about that. You missed the direct shot, the direct jump shot, but as a bang shot, it was still going in. And uh, he almost got position on the five, but with the last movement, he hooked himself again. And uh, now he has even a tougher, a tougher kick shot. He has to use to pass the eight and the nine, use a lot of left side English <coughs> to get a legal shot on the five. Oh, too much side, too much left side. So he misses the five completely. And this gives Oliver ball in hand and with five open balls left on the table. I would guess that nobody will take this game away from him. Just a little mini draw on the five, a little draw on the six little draw on the seven nicely done another draw on the seven look at the cue alignment from the head camera pretty individual that works pretty well straight in for the 8 a little bit far away but shouldn't be a big problem for the machine good position on the 9 and this gives him the score at so let's have a look. Four ball is the corner ball. Will he produce a full break or a cut break? It surely will be a very hard break. He got the corner ball, he got the one ball and perfectly get the cue ball back to the third diamond. But unfortunately he didn't have a position on the two ball. therefore he will be forced to play a safety and the safety would be on to play the two ball a little bit on there's only the left side available anyway and let the cue ball travel two rails behind the eight <coughs> have to shoot it pretty soft and accurate Here it comes. One, two, four. Okay, he's okay. Even though he hit the corner of the of the corner pocket. So Bruno need to pull out a nice kick here or a nice jump shot. Hmm. He's looking for a two rail kick. Just the one rail kick would give a better possibility. It's harder to hit, but it's a better opportunity to get a resave. He's going for a two rail kick. Short, long, and then into the two. One, ooh, he missed it. He missed it. And with ball in hand, it's now on Oliver to close the match.
Okay, just natural roll on the 6 to get a position on the 7. Or if you like, you can draw it as well. Or stun it like this. If the table is wide open like that, you always have several possibilities. Here, probably a 2 rail position shot for the 8 ball. And just natural roll. to get a perfect position on the 9 to close the match now with 9 to 6 Oliver Ortman the machine wins over Bruno Moratore in the third winners round we are later back for more